You heartily recommend exercise as a way to recover from depression. Tell us some of the, the benefits in the, that area. Yeah, well, I heartily recommend exercise as just one of many, many things one can do. Exercise alone will not get you over depression. But when I look at the research, mm -hmm. uh, and my favorite studies in this area come from Duke University, okay. uh, the Department of Psychiatry there, they, they simply compared exercise and antidepressants. Mm -hmm. They assumed that if you exercise plus took an antidepressant, that ah. you would get over depression better than simply an antidepressant. Uh, they were very surprised by their own findings, I'll tell you. Uh, what they did, they had three groups. They had a exercise only group, an antidepression only, only group, mm -hmm. and a group that took antidepressants and, and did that, exercise. That's what they bet their money on, that one, yeah, right? Yeah, that's okay. what they assumed would work. Uh, and of course, at 16 weeks, what they found was the exercise group did as well as the group on antidepressants. What surprised them was mm -hmm. at 10 months, Mm -hmm. The exercise only group outperformed the other groups. And of course, you say, well, how could that be possible? The other groups have the antidepressant plus they're exercising. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the answer is very simple there are real adverse effects brought on by antidepressants. Long term use really does begin to take its toll. There are health consequences, plus, there are probably some psychological things going on there. When you're exercising only, you know. You're doing it, not a pill's doing it. You're doing it. Uh -huh. That makes you feel good about yourself. Of course, there may also be some benefits by simply participating with others in exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, you have social contact. You may actually be meeting some goals and maybe some weight loss issues here. You definitely feel better because of your health is improving. So, you know, the, we don't know all the reasons of the, of the why, but we know that anyone on an antidepressant ought to be aware of the exercise research because it says in the short term you can do as well, in the long term you can do better than you can with that drug. It means exerting yourself though instead of taking a pill, it right? It does. And but, that's you know, a psychological thing right that's there. That's true and, and in fact in my uh, part three of America Fooled where I deal with depression, how to get over it without the drugs, one of the many things that I say there is be more disciplined. Mm -hmm. We have a body of research on those who are undisciplined. Undisciplined people are more likely to lose jobs, more likely to hit a spouse when they're angry, more likely mm -hmm. to have all kinds of problems, all kinds of problems. A more disciplined person is less likely to get depressed for those kinds of reasons. So okay. I encourage people to increase their level of discipline. And of course, surveys of Americans find that most people know they need to be more disciplined. 